to Carol's art room. Today I'm going to do a um, stra strainer. Well, this isn't a strainer. This is a colander. So I've got, I'm just going to turn you down for a second. I've got a can, six, I think it's nine by nine canvas, and I've got this little lid and I'm going to put it in the middle of my colander. There's a solid dot in the middle there. So I thought this and the legs don't all let the paint out. So I thought if I sit this on top of here, then the colander's raised up and I can pour easily and the paint will flow out from underneath. This is what I'm hoping everything will go right. So <clears throat> um, that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, I'm going to pour some white paint around the edges. And this is um, my Artist Loft White with Floetrol. So I'm just going to pour this around the edge. I don't think I need too much in the middle. I just want this to flow over the edges. I tried to make my paint a little runnier this time. So just trying to come up with some different ideas. Looks like I got a little bit too much weight here, but that's okay. It'll it'll all push off and run down the sides. All right. I don't have to be too fussy here. This will all run down. I'm hoping I have made up enough paint. So I have. Um, a couple of different kinds of paint. I have a um, mixture, so I've got a couple of leftover paints. So I've got my DecoArt Americana Deep, not Deep, Bahama Blue. I've also got Deep Turquoise in the Americana. I've got Artist Loft Black. And I've got old gold artist loft and it's in the tube. And I probably will add some white to this. So I've had my paper cup. I'm going to see if I can, I think I have some bubbles here. Burst these bubbles. pour it in my paper cup. And I think I will start with whatever goes in first usually comes out last. So I'm gonna pour black in. I think I'll do a couple of layers. I think I'll put the gold beside the black. This needs a little more water. So I've got Floetrol and paint. So the tube paint takes a little more Floetrol. The, the uh, DecoArt paint is half and half. So I use 
one part paint, one part Floetrol for the deco art. And then for the artist loft in the tube, I use more than 50-50, so I would use maybe one and a half more Floetrol and a little bit of water. Okay, so here goes the gold. I'm just pouring it down the side so that it just layers. And then the Bahama Blue. And the Deep Turquoise. I'll go for the black again. Next, I think these colors will look great together. I'm going to reverse these. I'll do the dark turquoise next. Pour this all in. There's not much left of this one. light um, Bahama blue it's going all in now and I guess the black again it's left of the black hoping this is enough. Oh, I was going to add some white. Maybe I'll add a little bit of white on top. <clears throat> okay. Make sure that's centered. My color. I just hope this doesn't fall. Just gonna, I'm just gonna keep pouring. Now I hope you guys can see. All right, here it goes. I'm gonna pinch my cup, and I'm just gonna pour. Oh, I hope I have enough paint. I'm going to add a tinge more white to this.
it's making some funky shapes under there. I don't know. Oh, there's lots of cells in that cup. Well, I don't think the lid underneath lifted it up high enough. Hmm. I don't have any more black. taking it off because the other colors didn't go through. Well, the colors look great. It's really kind of cool. Let's see if I put enough paint on here. I don't want to lose this whole shape. I'll go one way, slowly. Not sure if I want to leave some negative space, maybe. Whip my fingers off. Probably could have used a bit more paint. I think I'm going to leave the corners. Let this flow back. I'm liking these colors. The dark turquoise really didn't show up that well. It's probably sink. I'll come back this way. enough. Take some of that dark stuff off, come back again. Wow, I love it. I really like it. I really like this. Let's take some, fix my sides. A little more white over here. There. I'm going to take you 
take it up and show you. So I think the next time I do this, I'll do the same again, but I think I'm going to try and find something a little higher. This was a lid. Let's see if I can clean it off. This was, you know, you know what? I'm going to torch her heat gun this for a minute. This was a lid off of a, I think it was off of like a mayonnaise bottle or mustard or something like that. So it's like a double. So it needs a, to be a little bit higher for my calendar, I think. I'll get another lid maybe and fit it inside and raise it up. That'll be my next idea. All right, so hope you enjoyed this one. These are awesome colors. I love how the gold and the black blended together and popped out. Oh, so pretty. And there's some cells. I'll bring it up for you close. See that black and the gold. I like it. I like it a lot, so I'll um, wait for it to dry, take a picture, and I'll show you the dried results probably at the end of the video. All right, so thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel and comment below, and I will put in the description all the colors, so if you hit the little arrow underneath the video, there's a description box, and I will try and put all my colors listed in there and what I used. Okay, so have a great day. Bye-bye.